So what's interesting for us is working with our clients, uh, the most important part has always been involving them into the design process. So we bring them as a part of our design process. We ask a lot of questions, we sit down with them, try to get into their head and understand what are the things that appeal to them, what experiences they've had, and how that would inform the design process. The fact that we do both modern and classic has allowed us to work with a very wide range of clients. And some people come to us, they want a very traditional look and lifestyle. Some other people come to us and they're very, very modern. What's happened over the years, we see that now there's more demand for contemporary work. But at the same time, what's interesting is there's a lot more demand for what I would call hybrid architecture. Where somebody that does not want to live in something that's super modern, that really appreciates the more traditional look, but does not want to live into something traditional, how do you bridge that gap? How do you bring that together? And we're doing a lot of great projects now where you say you want something that's more formal French, but we can strip it down to its essence and still have the big opening doors that will disappear into the walls and still have an open floor plan, things that you wouldn't typically find in a more traditional project. So we're bringing those two styles together. And as architects, we've been exposed to both ends of that spectrum, so we can really manipulate those styles. Once you understand the historical precedence behind a certain style, and you can understand the proportion in those details, now you're able to translate that and create your own language with that. And that's a lot of fun, and I think it's a great place to go as architecture will evolve over the years, is to create your own language and to learn from both ends, and not say you have to be a minimalist or a maximalist, you can be somewhere in between. Sustainability to us is important. You know, in our office, we have an in-house uh, green design committee where we constantly research new uh, sources, materials, products, what is out there. For the clients also, especially when you do a high-end home, which is pretty large in scale, to be able to try to balance that with using reclaimed finishes, high efficiency system, geothermal heating. Everything inspires me. I can find inspiration in nature. We're designing projects now that are basically inspired by rock formations. Uh, and uh, the idea of being able to get away and realizing how l nature itself is such an amazing luxury. Um, and then you look at when you travel in a, more urban, in a more urban kind of context, there's so much that you can learn and discover about the history of architecture, about scale, about the way people will interact with the environment that they're in. I'm always looking and paying attention in a restaurant or in a lobby of a hotel is where are people sitting? What are they doing? How are they interacting with each other? And all these things, the environment is such an important thing in my life that is I cannot stop but paying attention to these things, whether it's a natural kind of environment, environment or a built environment. It has so much value. It has so much that it can bring you.